inspired by the Martian, where Matt Damon grew potatoes in a makeshift greenhouse, the interstellar lab biopod could make life on Mars even more appealing. This prefabricated plastic module features four sections with UV lighting, built-in plumbing, and powerful air conditioning. Equipped with sensors throughout, it constantly tracks plant health to maintain optimal growing conditions. Inside, vegetables, fruits, and herbs thrive in wide trays filled with nutrient-rich mineral solution instead of soil. The biopod creates perfect weather for rapid growth while producing almost no waste, cutting operational costs to near zero, and significantly boosting profitability. It's essentially advanced space farming technology adapted for life on Earth. Large-scale farms are increasingly shifting from traditional greenhouses to advanced hydroponic methods, and the hydroponic floating raft is a prime example. Instead of sprouting in plastic cups, plants are germinated in a spacious pool equipped with a high-tech filtration system. A raft rests on the water surface while the roots remain fully submerged, offering clear advantages over soil-based cultivation. Pests have little chance of reaching the plants, and there's no need for manual watering since they're constantly surrounded by moisture. The controlled water temperature further accelerates growth and fruit development. Available in multiple sizes and configurations, these rafts can be customized to suit different crops. It's an innovative way to let your vegetables, from radishes to lettuce, quite literally set sail toward faster, cleaner harvests. Cubic Farm Systems begins its pitch with a stark warning about an impending global ecological crisis, insisting the answer lies in replacing traditional field farming with growing greens and specialized facilities. These range from large industrial workshops to compact home units. Using Cubic Farm technology, any farmer can install a pavilion on their land that operates continuously, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. The system can replicate virtually any climate, from tropical heat to Ireland's cool, damp conditions, removing the need for long, complex supply chains. Why import bananas from Ecuador when you can reproduce the climate of Ecuador, Mexico, or Brazil inside a steel container right in your backyard? This approach offers fresh produce without the environmental and logistical costs of global transportation. Atlantis Subsea Farming, developed by AKA Group, a leading marine farm equipment manufacturer, introduces a new approach to aquaculture. Instead of relying on artificial reservoirs, fish are raised directly in the open sea inside rigid cylindrical pens that extend hundreds of meters deep. These structures are equipped with video cameras to monitor the fish and ensure proper management. Nearby floating bases house the life support systems maintaining optimal conditions within the pens. This method is designed to be environmentally friendly, integrating seamlessly with the ocean ecosystem while avoiding the drawbacks of land-based farming. As long as the fish don't stage a grand escape, this deep-sea solution offers a sustainable and efficient way to meet growing seafood demands. The Sambu Group in Indonesia is a major force in the coconut industry specializing in cultivating and processing coconuts into products such as milk, water, powder, cream, and the beloved national treat, candied coconut. Their plantation spans such vast areas that traversing them often requires a motorcycle or even a helicopter. Inside their modern processing facilities, state-of-the-art machinery handles every stage of production. Thousands of Indonesian workers operate around the clock to ensure each coconut meets the group's strict quality standards. Proud of its role as a leader in the global coconut market, the company is committed to showcasing more Indonesian coconuts on store shelves worldwide, promoting both quality and the country's agricultural heritage. Salmar uses advanced open sea farming technology to breed premium, high-quality salmon, a process far more demanding than raising pigs or chickens. Their operations span both shore-based facilities and floating structures on the water surface. Salmon begin life as eggs, hatching in about 60 days, 
with the first 25 spent in specialized hatcheries. After hatching, the fry survive on their yolk sacs for roughly a month before being transferred to aquariums kept at 14 degrees Celsius with dim lighting to promote healthy development. Once strong enough, they are moved to open sea cages where they continue to grow for around a year. This meticulous, multi-stage process requires exceptional patience, precision, and care to produce salmon that meets Salmar's high standards for quality and sustainability. The robot chicken coop from Pasturebird is a mobile, eco-friendly twist on traditional poultry housing. Unlike fixed coops, this innovative structure is mounted on wheels and can be moved across fields, preventing chickens from overgrazing and damaging the same patch of soil. Developed with input from NASA experts, the design aims to reduce the environmental impact of poultry farming. Chickens are notorious for tearing up topsoil while foraging, but by relocating the coop regularly, the land has time to recover and regenerate. Powered by solar panels, the system generates electricity to run the wheel motors, which can be activated remotely with a push of a button. This clever solution keeps both the soil and the chickens healthier while promoting sustainable farming practices. Kamoka Pearl is a family-run business thriving on the art of pearl cultivation. Their underwater farm houses mollusks in nets suspended from cables, where each mollusk spends months nurturing a single pearl. When harvest time arrives, divers descend to carefully select the right shells from the nets. Back on land, the mollusks are gently opened with precision tools to reveal the lustrous gems inside. The process then shifts to skilled craftspeople, who transform these natural treasures into elegant jewelry, beads, earrings, bracelets, and more. This meticulous blend of marine farming and artisan craftsmanship allows Kamoka Pearl to produce high-quality, sustainable jewelry that reflects both the beauty of the ocean and the dedication of the people who work it. Dutchman Tree Farms proves that real Christmas trees still have their charm despite the convenience of artificial ones. A live tree fills the home with a fresh, festive scent, though it does mean dealing with falling needles and regular watering. Artificial trees, while tidy and reusable, can't match the authenticity of the real thing. At Dutchman Tree Farms, acres of young evergreens are carefully cultivated and then harvested each December. Each tree is expertly packed into its own box to ensure it arrives at market with every branch intact. The process is handled entirely by people, not machines, who work with the care and cheer of holiday elves, bringing genuine seasonal spirit from the farm to the cities. Viet Pepper is a young Vietnamese company founded in 2012 that has quickly made its mark in the spice industry. Starting with a modest 20-hectare plantation, they have expanded to an impressive 500 hectares. Pepper harvesting here follows a traditional, picturesque process reminiscent of scenes from Vietnamese films. Women wearing straw hats and carrying wicker baskets carefully pick each pepper by hand to ensure quality. The harvested peppers are then sun-dried to preserve their natural aroma and flavor. Once dried, they're taken to workshops where they are ground and packaged in elegant glass bottles helping maintain the pepper's original taste and freshness for consumers around the world. Sanambio Arc is a revolutionary mobile farm designed to fit entirely inside a standard shipping container, making it easy to transport by tractor or ship. Around one-tenth of the space is dedicated to batteries, while the rest houses stacked growing beds arranged in neat rows. Powered by solar panels, the system is built to operate in extreme conditions, enduring temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius. Its fully controlled environment allows precise adjustment of lighting, temperature, and bed spacing, enabling the cultivation of up to 2,430 heads of lettuce at once. Versatile and efficient, a single container can grow as many as 300 different types of herbs making it a compact yet powerful solution for sustainable food production anywhere in the world. Tower farms are a modern twist on the hanging gardens, ideal for homes, 
offices, backyards, or even balconies. Occupying no more than a single square meter, they require neither land nor soil, eliminating mess and traditional gardening chores like weeding. Simply plant seeds in the tower and let the system do the work. This vertical growing method reduces water usage by up to 90% while boosting nutrient concentration by 65%, creating an efficient and sustainable way to grow fresh produce. Each tower can support up to 32 plants at once, more than enough to supply a household with herbs, vegetables, or leafy greens year-round, all in a clean, compact space. Firma Makri Dwer in Poland has turned snail farming into a thriving business since its start in 2011. Rich in protein, magnesium, calcium, copper, zinc, and iodine, snails are surprisingly valuable. What began in a small room with just 2,800 eggs has grown into a large, covered hangar where snails live under artificial light in plastic containers. The farm even includes entertainment spaces like a foil tunnel that serves as their miniature amusement park. Dedicated nurseries allow young snails to develop before joining the main population. Although their lifespan on the farm is only about five months, by then they've reached the perfect size to be sent off, often ending up as a delicacy in salads and gourmet dishes. Founded in 1998, SA Mushrooms in Australia has built its reputation on cultivating high-quality mushrooms. Rather than foraging in forests, the company grows its crops on towering racks inside climate-controlled greenhouses. The result is an impressive sight, millions of mushrooms with perfectly shaped caps and spotless stems. A sophisticated irrigation system maintains constant humidity, creating ideal growing conditions year-round. This controlled environment ensures both quality and cleanliness, allowing the farm to produce mushrooms on a massive scale. While it's unlikely frogs actually stop by, the lush, moist atmosphere might just make them feel right at home. CL Max grows premium macadamia nuts in a vast orchard in New South Wales, Australia. Thousands of trees are planted in neat rows. In the early days, each one was wrapped in dense cloth to protect its bark from parasites and help form sturdy, straight trunks. Today, these mature trees produce macadamia, nuts that naturally fall to the ground and ripen on their own. A specialized machine, resembling a giant vacuum cleaner, sweeps them up and sends them for processing. The nuts are then washed, dried, and, if required, roasted to perfection. Once prepared, they're packaged and shipped to markets around the world, delivering the rich, buttery taste of Australian macadamias to global consumers. Tori Lupera, an Italian company, is renowned for crafting what many consider the world's finest mozzarella. On its 180-hectare farm, the company grows corn, barley, and oats exclusively to feed its herd of strong, healthy buffalo. Their rich, high-quality milk is transformed into mozzarella through a traditional process of kneading and boiling into a thick, snow-white mass. Before the cheese is deemed ready, it undergoes laboratory testing to ensure all beneficial microorganisms remain active and the nutrients are preserved. Once approved, the mozzarella is shaped into the familiar round balls we love, carefully packaged, and sent out to share its fresh, distinctive flavor with the world. 3A Composites Baltech works with balsa trees, which grow at remarkable speeds, rivaling bamboo and reaching heights taller than five-story buildings in just a few years. However, in balsa production, trunk diameter matters more than height. Within only five years, a balsa tree's trunk can reach about 30 centimeters in diameter, making it ready for harvest and processing. The resulting boards are highly valued in construction for their exceptional impact and moisture resistance, ability to endure extreme temperatures, and excellent sound insulation properties. With so many advantages, it's surprising that other types of trees are still harvested when balsa offers such a fast-growing, versatile, and sustainable alternative. From a distance, Berry Blues Blueberry Plantations resemble vineyards, with curling vines, 
tidy leaves, and clusters of delicate bluish fruit. Since 2017, the company has been cultivating blueberries with great success. According to their website, the process can't be fully mechanized because the berries are too fragile and must be picked by hand. Tractors are used only to transport freshly harvested berries from the fields to the processing area. There, a slow conveyor belt gently sorts them before employees pack them into containers, label them with barcodes, and load them for delivery. While the approach is traditional, it remains highly effective, ensuring the berries reach customers fresh and in perfect condition.